So this is too long for the cross slide by 20 mil. Um, so I'm going to cut 20 mil off this. So I've undone the four screws, little screws, and I've popped that off. There's a little bit of a silicon joint there. There's one of the screws. I've pulled the reed head out. I'll slip that back in later. And I've marked where I'm going to cut it. So I'll put a square around there. Now, that's going to end up cutting through the glass scale in there. But I'm not too worried because I believe that if you gently cut with a hacksaw around there, that will just snap off. And then we'll just put a bit more glue in there, snap it off and put the end. So let's go over. I'm just going to cut this with a hacksaw and then file it nice and clean. Right, let's go do that. Right, so let's trim it, see what we can do. I'm down on the glass now. Straight through it, no trouble. I'll show you. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see up in there. Have a look. Done. I will, what I'll probably do, I might take the other end off, take this end off and blow it out. But as you can see the glass scale's cut. Now I need it 10 mils back. I'm just going to snap it. Like that. They seem to do the trick perfectly. I'll just, yeah, need to blow out. I'm just going to clean up around here with the file. So it's, you can see where I've broken the, the scale, but that's fine because the, the reed head's up here. Doesn't actually, the reed head's up here, it doesn't matter. Right, so I'm just going to get some silicon to silicon these ends back on and put it back together.
I'll take you back over to the other side of the bench. Okay, here's some, we just, some sealant. Okay, let's put that over there because I've got to. I'll clean that up and then I've got to put the. I've got to put the reed head back in. Just decided I, when I looked down there, I could see some filings on there, which I don't want. So let's take those out and give them a clean up. Oh, matching rag. Sort of had, uh, I don't know, it felt a bit sticky. I'm actually going to take this end off again. Looks clean, but let's just no, that's good and clean. I think it was just sticking to the to the plasticky. Yeah, nothing. So we'll put these back in. Just slide them back in, put the silicon strips back in, so I will put this end back on and then we will put the reed head back in. Glad I saw that bit of dirt. Right, now we'll put the reed head back in. Now there's a pressure and there's little rollers here which fit in beautifully in here. We're going to have to drill and tap some holes. Now, this is a 2 mil, 1.9, I don't have a 2 mil tap, so I am going to, I'm going to hopefully just drill. I don't want to lift it off because I don't want the chip going down to the Okay, so oh, that's good. Okay, All right, I'm just going to go and trim this one up 
and I put a little bit of a point on the end. I think you missed all of this. What I did on this end, I didn't push the record. Huh. Schoolboy error. So I'm not sure where we were up to. So what I did is, after I cleaned it all out, um, I suddenly realised that I needed some holes um, tapped. It was 2mm threaded holes in there. The, so I, what I did is I siliconed it, pushed that back on and held it. I didn't want any chips going in. So I drilled it out with a 1.5mm drill bit. And then I cut the screws were really long, cut them back and put a little bit of a point on and they they bit into the aluminium really well. So I drilled the four holes, screwed the screws in, I didn't have because I don't have a two mil tap. So and that's really gone in there strong. Works great. So now we're heading back over to the lathe and we will install this on the lathe. Right, let's go do that. <laughs> 